What up, world? You already know what time it is, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the After Party Radio Show. If you did not know, we got your man, the host with the most fatal locked and loaded. We got... Josie, why you nudging me like that? You know trying, my I name. Try, I was trying to tell you to say your name, girl. I we know, are... but you didn't let me really talk, and I was like, let him introduce me. Okay, okay, Sometimes you do a cool job introducing okay, me. Let's, let's, let's do, do it again. Let's bring it back. Go for it. it. Go. Hey, what up, world? It's the after party radio show. It's your man, <laughs> Fatal. You, you did not like know. That. And we got Josie in the building. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> pandemonium is flying. Tell me why. Tell we, me why. We tell out me here, why. man. Rhythm 105 FM. Thanks for having us, man. Every Sunday, fun day, that's what we do. We got a special guest in the building today, man. A 15 year old phenom. Phoenix Fire in the house. What's up, Phoenix? What's up? What's up? Woo! Ooh, you got the 15, mic presence, too. 15 year old with this swag. I've had people in here with double your age that don't know how to talk in that microphone right that here. That don't man. have <laughs> half of your swag. That's, that's amazing. Here we are, man. How you Welcome. feeling? How you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, just. Uh, just feeling it, just feeling it out, you know. Just tell me <laughs> woke about up pretty late today. tell me about your life being a musician as well as being just a 15 year old yeah. regular kid. Can you be a regular kid? I mean, yeah. I mean, um, um, just throughout school, you know, people be asking me to rap and stuff all the time. But besides that, yeah, pretty regular life. Just, so you're pretty uh, famous at your school. Uh, not at this school now because I just started high school, so nobody knows me because we've been virtual this year. But mm, true, true. <laughs> in, uh, in in middle school, yeah, for sure. But I'm sure the girls are starting to put two and two together on the Zoom, and they're like, "Ooh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute, you doing that nowadays on the Zoom?" Yeah, they got it. They nah, take nah. classes. You don't take classes on Zoom. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no we, we take classes on Zoom. And, oh, come uh, on. It's whole virtual. It's whole virtual. The shout out to your mom, China, for getting you here yeah. today, man. Shout out to China in the building, man. <laughs> Back to doing big things, connecting the dots, man. What do you want? What do you want to tell your mom? Because I'm sure she is your number one supporter. Oh, big time. I mean, I want to tell her that. Uh, I just want to tell her thanks, and I, I, I love her. I mean, she, 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 she knows what I'm talking about. So <laughs> that's what I'm talking. About. I love my mama too, mama. If you tune in right now, I love you too, mama. For real. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong being a mama's boy, right? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm a mama's boy for sure. Yeah, me too, man. So you're 15. Yeah. When did when did you want to take music seriously? Were you like 12 or 11? You're like in elementary school. Like, you know what? This is what I want to do. When did you yeah. decide that this is what you wanted to do? And you're pursuing it at such a young age with the right guidance. Your mom, like, that's so dope. Not a lot of people get that opportunity. When did you decide that this is what you wanted to do? Yeah, yeah. My, my dad had a studio when, um, when he was like probably uh, out of college or something. He just, he's just had it. So when I was about 10, I just started jumping on it and doing some things. So... Uh, just started like producing and stuff. Uh, I've already been singing a little bit and rapping since like the age of eight, but I just okay. started producing like five years ago and just haven't stopped since. So yeah, it's it's been a it's been a short but long journey. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Do you write your own stuff? Yeah, yeah. I, I I'll only write my own stuff. Uh, sing and rap on my beats. Produce it. No. What no, are your no What are people. your experiences like? Have you been heartbroken yet? Do you have that hard heartbroken is, song? Is, is that... Mama letting them date a fifteen? Yo, I gotta look at Mom over there. Let's well, see. I was a lot of date a fifteen. Oh, like, I hello. It was till I turned fifteen, and my mom was very strict prior. Like I was scared to date before that because she's like, I will find out. And I was scared. But once I turned 15, she let me date. So that's why I'm saying, I don't know, have you had your heartbreak yet or you're still too young? Oh, yeah. I, I, I can date, but no, I haven't had a heart, heartbreak yet. I haven't yet. had the heartbreak. I don't really care I'm about a, I'm going a, I'm to a be uh, tuned in for that song because that's always a good song, that heartbroken. Well, you, you're trying you're trying to pressure young love right now, okay? There's there's times when this is okay and this is... Right now, just let... Be He's a, kid. a musician. Be a kid, man. Be a kid, I know, bro. but I'm just be saying. Be a kid. Women sometimes... No, no diss to anybody's mamas or anybody, but sometimes women can be a little much you know what I'm saying but I it's mean, like he so, writes so, his so, own so like, just he clearly be a, writes be a kid he Go clearly write music, writes his experiences write music and just look at the women for now and then wait 10 more years don't even look at the women <laughs> wait, you're wait, looking wait, at the wait, curls wait, at ten, your age. wait 10 more years man hey uh, you're, that's a good, a good point girl. I agree with that point that's true <laughs> watch some cougars out there man. so what are your experiences <laughs> and, um, like when you write music <laughs> I mean, uh, m most of the experiences I have is just like California, just mountains and ocean, everything. Just going to the beach one Driving. day, coming back and being like, just writing this beautiful song, like on my guitar, or piano, or something. Uh, otherwise, it's just like school experiences or something. But can't really get that this year. But yeah. what, what about your record, Death Is Trying, man? Because I did check out the music video. Yeah, and yeah. that that was a deep subject. That mm -hmm. was very substance packed. And uh, for me, man, just hearing it for the first time, like a 15 year old kid so much is like projecting this this energy right now with this message and to me that was the most amazing part of everything bro is that, yeah, that someone at such a young age can be so mindful of what we are surrounded you know as a society around us man and you're just 
very mindful of that. It's amazing, man. So I salute you for that fact. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, good to talk you, to you, you, man. Yeah. So what brought that record around, man? Yeah, uh, just the times. I mean, I, I made that song probably a little before the whole BLM stuff happened and everything. So just kind of just made this sad song and I was just trying to find these words to go with it because that's just my producer process. I produce and then I make the lyrics to it. So it's made the beat, was just trying to find it. Uh, probably took me like uh, 15 days just to like come up with the first line, but I was just like, Because you oh. want it to be just perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I just needed the first word and I was like, death is trying to pull us down like 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 a ne- negativity is trying to pull us down and we just need to have positivity to to, to lift us up and that's just what the whole song is about yeah so you know, props to you for sure you know what like you're so young and you're literally like i'm watching you like i see your future you don't like, act like no no you're gonna be no but you're, kid, that's right? what i'm saying like you're gonna be so successful like i can already mm-hmm. see it just because the way you carry yourself now and just yeah. the way that you he's gonna have a good credit score when he gets older <laughs> He's but just the way that you, like, you listen to the <laughs> questions and, and you yeah. really like know how to answer like you're a 15 year old like and yeah. this is how you carry yourself like Thank the sky's you. the limit honestly like keep going man you. shout out to For you man we, we, we give roses on the after party radio show man when people are here we love good we, we love we love sharing that presence and letting them know how awesome they are man so just the fact that you have that contained within you man continue to share that it's a blessing man you gotta you gotta share that knowledge man and 15 yeah. years old is a great age you got your whole life ahead of you, man. Yeah, yeah. So what? Are, yeah. What is it? What are your friends like? Like, what do you guys? Obviously, prior to coronavirus, like, what do you guys like to do for fun? Because music is your focus. But I'm sure you have other hobbies, and you hang out with your friends to be able to get yeah. those stories to write in yeah. your music. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I have a, I have a friend. Um, we just usually. I don't know. Play video games. Just uh, play basketball. He loves to skate, but I can't. You know how to I skate? I can't really skate that well. Did you ever? Really was skate. it just not your thing, or like you tried? I have I have great balance. I could probably like do great things, but it's just like the skateboard is just a little off. I don't know, but yeah, he he loves to skate and everything. Um, his other friend, we we, we made music together. Okay. Well, we used to make music a lot when we were uh went back in uh pre Rona times. Back in like a year back, ago, back in yeah, the day, yeah. like a year ago. Pre Rona, pre Rona. <laughs> But yeah, we so different. We we be uh, we be making some stuff. Uh, uh, Addy Idol, he he be uh, we be making some stuff in the studio. He's more of an artist. I'm just a producer for his stuff and everything. So okay, uh, just kind of bonded that way. But yeah. Uh, so what's up with this other single? We playing two your records right now in the mix with DJ Cheetos. The other one is called Gassed Up. Yeah, Gassed Up. What's up with this? this is a little bit more up tempo compared to the other one. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this it's... one's more like you just <laughs> kind of being a little more suave and lyrical. It got a little more of an up tempo beat. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a party song. It's yeah. just uh, uh, Im- embedded in the song. I think it's just uh, make make sure you take care of yourself. Don't get too gassed up. <laughs> Don't get too gassed up on yourself. And um, and yeah, it's 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 just a fun party song. It's a it's a fun party beat. Who inspired you as an artist, man? Surprised me as an artist. I mean, you're 15, so you don't. I know you don't know some of the super old old school hip hop. Yeah, but I mean, today I would say definitely a uh, uh, a Drake kind of flow is definitely what I what I gravitate towards. Just rapping and be able to fluctuate between singing and rapping. That, that's what that's what I like to do. But well, rap, technically Drake to you is that OG rapper. You yeah. grew up. You were like probably, what like 10. Yeah, no, yeah. Sure. Way younger, way younger when uh, when he started. So you definitely sure, have yeah. grown up. See, to me, when I growing up. I was, a, you know, I'm a '90s pretty much kid, man, for the most part. So me, but that Drake flow for me was like Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. That was my Drake flow back then. It was like, yo, they were the ones rapping with melody and harmony. Yeah, you don't yeah. know about Bone Thugs, huh? No, nah, no. Nah. See, Dang. see, I know one song. Shout out to Busy Bone. Say, Shout, I, see, I, I feel I like Mama all, knows but... about Bone Thugs. Bone, 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 bone. Tell me what you're gonna Ooh, do. It's the first of the month. You have to know that song. Wake oh, up, no, no, no. wake up, wake up, wake up. I feel like Pops even up. knows that song. Look, Pops like, yeah, I know that song. See? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on a quick break, but yeah. tell us what a, what a typical day looks like in your life as a 15 year old that produces and raps and this whole future ahead of you. What does a typical day look like? Yeah, t- t- typical day is pretty a- uh, active. Um, wake up probably at like six, seven in the morning. Uh, okay. Start working out immediately. Uh, then just usually like to. Uh, shower up and uh, get fresh, and then um, just eat some. I don't know, just regular food. <laughs> That's know. good. I know some thirty-year-olds they work out. Having... They don't even shower after. They just go about their day. And I, <laughs> I meet them at Whole Foods or Target, and I'm like, "Oh my, adios mio, yo, yo!" Like this is crazy. People need just... some right guard or something up in here in the store right now. <laughs> and then just uh, yeah, uh, real immediately. You're already that. ahead of the game, bro. You rap, you got substance, and you take showers after working out. Hello, man. <laughs> Listen, we got a bright future and a good credit score coming soon for this guy, man. 
So yeah. when do you hit the so studio? So serious. I hit the studio right after that. I usually just eat, uh, pick up my guitar, hit the piano, just uh, that's amazing, man. Start the music end at probably late, late uh, six, seven p.m. That's uh, dope. So yeah, this is all day music. Every We're day, gonna all day. come right back, and you're gonna do a little live performance for us. So everybody listening to the After Party Radio Show, stay tuned. All right, all right man, we'll be right back. DJ Cheetos in the mix. Let's go. Radio show, man. We having a great time. Josie in the building. Shout out to Rudy one time. Shout out to Rudy. Shout out to Rudy behind the camera, man. If y'all don't know, Rudy is one of our producers here at the after party. And uh, Rudy is everything. If 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 you have a low self esteem and a high credit score, hit him up. (laughs) He is that guy that will take that application in a direct message. (laughs) So hit up Rudy. We're about to go into some live performances right now. Let's talk about it, my man. Phoenix Fire. Fuego in the building right Fuego, now, man. Fuego. Right in your radios. Fuego, it's after Fuego. party radio show rhythm 1059 FM. Let's get it right now. Phoenix gonna drop an acapella for us, man. It's all you, bro. Yeah. You and me, I see destruction, you see peace. That's the difference that I can't understand for the life of me. Why won't you fight for me? It's kind of rightfully you're right for me. I see these eyes that look at me a certain way. It's likely that I'm a certain kind of breed to them. Blackberry ready to wash with no hoes, no shows, and one goal. Death is trying like these limits I'm defying. Like our ancestors were dying. Fear can't blur the lines that we have clearly set aside for a better time, a better generation. Got moments set in time, but succeed ahead. Hesitation, fail the preservation to hell with expectations when our brothers and sisters ain't brothers and sisters first the point that they missing first the coin toss a prison a night child is a miracle cause they can feel the miracle light death is trying to take all the tears out of miracles right and pour them in the night sky hoping to make us cry man Come Yo. on, man. Hey, come on, man. Even you my man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say oh one thing. I'm gonna say one thing. Hold on, hold on. I gotta say one thing, yo. I gotta say something too. Oh, I gotta say something. First. All right, go. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, gonna, go first. I'm gonna say something for me and Rudy. Say it. Cause Rudy, I I'm, at, no, I'm gonna say something for Rudy. I looked, at, I looked at Rudy right now. Rudy, our camera guy, gave Rudy, me a you look. Agree with me, with me too. You're on my. Cause Rudy likes like, real hip hop, yo. It. Exactly. And Rudy was over there nodding his head right now, like, okay. Say it, or I'm gonna say what I gotta say. I just gotta say that Rudy approves of this hip hop message right now. That's what I'm saying. Do you want me to tell you the vibes you were giving me? Yo. Talk about it. You give me Kendrick and J. Cole vibes. Oh, my and God. And for me hold to on. compare Rick Flair, you hold on. Rick Flair. J. Cole, listen, oh, J. Cole's like a legend to me. Hold on, hold on, And hold on. you gave me those vibes. Oh, sookie, Yo. sookie. <laughs> Yo, I am sick of these vibes being so good at here. I can't wait. You know what, man? To, like, hear you in, like, you know, five years. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm, you. I'm, you know what? I'm not kidding. Let's get scratch what she said. I'm, t- I'm excited to hear you right now, no, man. No, I mean, obviously, <laughs> For the next but it's like years. if he's this talented <laughs> right now and he's giving J. Cole and like Kendra vibes, you know what? like. I can't Phoenix like, fire I can for imagine. president, damn it, man. You know what I'm saying? I can only imagine. <laughs> Phoenix fire for president, I'll vote for you. <laughs> okay, man. I got to say this, man. There's a lot of you rappers that are twice, <laughs> sometimes, some of y'all are three times his age. Yeah, and come you up don't sound here, half as come up, come up in here, and y'all might need to hire my mans right now to give y'all some <laughs> rap lessons, because some of you 48-year-old rappers are here with your gold grills in your mouth. <laughs> and your bootleg Gucci from your EDB right, check. Right, I, I cannot rap as good as my man Phoenix Fire. That's all I got to say. You got what I'm saying. You got what I mean? That's what we're going for. We'll be right back, man. It's the After Party Radio Show. Phoenix, where can they follow you, man? You can follow me on Instagram at Phoenix the Fire. You can check out my website at phoenixfire.com. Uh, just Google me, man. That's what I'm oh. talking about. But you rappers out here just step y'all games up, man. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm we'll so serious, right too. I'm so serious. The After Party Radio we'll Show. We'll be right back, man. Rhythm 1059 FM. Let's go. Yes, sir. It's the After Party Radio Show. If you did not know, that was another dope episode, man. We got my man Phoenix Fire in the building. Fire, 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 fuego. And and let's just clear up any justification on this, man. How do we spell this correctly for the listeners right now, man? How do they find you? Yeah, it's Phoenix the F-Y-A. Phoenix F-Y-A. Check me on Instagram at Phoenix the F-Y-A. Go look at my website at Phoenix Fire. Um... Uh, just, just Google me, man. Just Google me. <laughs> Shout out to Google, making everything possible for everyone all around the world. So y'all could be, y'all could be in Dubai right now. Tune in right now. Anywhere, Australia, him. down under. Y'all Listen to the Phoenix Fire with an F Y A. You better act like you know, eh? Before okay. we let you go, what's the dope message you wanna you wanna throw out there to your listeners, or just something a motto that you live by? Yeah, I just uh, what's that vibe, man? Just. Uh, Try anything and everything, and if you're scared, it doesn't hurt to try. Just just try anything you want to do. Just do anything. Look at you, man. You're 15 years old. You're here on an FM radio interview. 
And like I said, there's <gasps> men like five times your age, bro. They can't even get off of Spotify or, or, or SoundCloud, bro. So. <laughs> Thank Congratulations you, thank to you, you man. Thank you. Appreciate you. The you coming The dream is possible. Out. Thanks for thank having you. me. Shout out to your moms one more time, too, man. Shout out to China. Ye- ye- shout out ye- to Pop. Ye- shout out to everyone that came to support you today, man. Anyone you want to shout out real quick? Uh, I mean, shout out Adi Idol. Uh, shout out my friends. Anyone that knows me, you know me. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. He gonna act too cool for y'all after this interview. I, know, that's I, I, it. I, don't, I don't know you guys no he more, man. Five, I'm like excited to hear him in five years MTV because he's gonna, be, he's gonna be so grown and he's gonna be yeah. like, I don't remember you. Nah. He'll be like, he'll be be like, like <laughs> Phoenix, you were 15. Uh, nope. He'll be like, J. Cole, what? Who's that? It's about Phoenix Fire. You can't diss J. Cole like that. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, take that back. You're right, take that back. He's, right. he's pretty good, though. If it, I want to see what J. Cole is rapping like at 15 years old. And then we'll talk well, about it. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what we'll I'm talk so about excited it. to hear you. We'll talk. Thank the you. potential yeah, is endless, man. Keep rising, yes. keep grinding, Young King. It's the After Party Radio Show. It's your man Fatal, if you did not know me. We'll be right back in the mix. DJ Cheetos, more new music. Let's Dying. go.